مرحبا ازيزتي الاسبتاتوري ما نستوش ندلكم في بياتشير اندي اللي ارجعينا لأينا في لحافة دازمين كولو I am so happy to have met you again uh, after all this long time and so therefore welcome to the Maltese kitchen Today we're going to make for you a very traditional recipe um, one that um, in older times perhaps was the most frugal recipe that you could come across um, Maltese are renowned for not being wasteful and being able to just find something to do with whatever piece of food there is. And so today we're making pudina. Anyway, so I'm going to start the recipe uh, and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there, okay? In order to, to make this recipe, really, it's, it's not a matter of what ingredients to put in because you can put them in to your taste. Mandir shal feitait an dibzon, tzokran dibzon, you know, cocotina, an dibzon mit e, an dibzon. Dini avera, tahtima kif skont libzon niet liandek, u skont, after I bake, if I've baked too much, I've got leftovers from baking, I also grind those and I use the crumbs. Uh, to add to the pudina, so nothing gets wasted. I'm holding true to our, our older generations. Um, so uh, let's maybe uh, get going, and as I'm going along, I will explain to you what ingredients I'm putting in. And again, you could put all of these, or you could put some of these, or you can put your own twist to it, okay? So, dawl ingredienti kwella li senu li komi lu gostiti al uskonch kim fadalli fil baking pantry na lak li verita, na li komi verita. So, you can add these ingredients. Of course, the base is il hops propia, li kini msharrab isu al lizbah nafsiya siya, u issa nasruh, okay? So, mala, hanibdeo, un boro. كفترة الحبس مشرب مش حزين، so مثلاً هل هذا سكر مشرب عشان لتنزيد الجوس مياه وفري تهرة لما مشربين، so I I need to add some more wet ingredients، so therefore I'm not gonna keep this as wet as it is right now. I'm gonna squeeze the water out of it. Okay, so this is all the bread I've got right now. After squeezing it, it's still quite moist. You can still squish it around, and. We'll be adding more liquid to it so that it becomes more of a loose batter, um, not very loose though. So, it's a sato, or if it's a sheen, it's a complonzido il mera and the juices, which is it. Or, allura, you're just sure of not a bit zed, which you couldn't iso il iso il batter ta 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 cake, okay? Mena, hanib del in how do. هنزيد الأول نقرأ الجوز خلينا نبدأ نلوسيا نرجع هناك عندي جوز محلات عندي أورنج جوز بيتش جوز وداني سكون التوم اللي تريده هناك أبل جوز جيلي عملت فيه sometimes I even put any kind of juice including apple juice it's all a matter of your taste okay so basically I'm adding all the dry ingredients first um, and then I'll start adding the, the liquid ingredients based on how much I have. So, the liquid ingredient in the first place. And then we have to use the juice and 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 the juice. Okay. And then we have the apricot jam. I have some walnuts. Gels, not our gels. So, if it's around, we just add some of the mixture. We set the set the kifla hectar liquidy. So, as you can see, it's it's really quite stiff, still, and so it's going to be able to take a lot more liquid. I haven't added any sugar yet because I don't know how sweet it's going to be. The rest of it is half an ingredient that we have to add to the sugar. I'm going to add the sugar to the sugar. And then we'll add the sugar to the sugar. So, what do you think about the pudding? The pudding is going to be less than the sugar. So, I'm going to add the sugar to the sugar to the sugar. Now, when I see that I've got one or two puddings left that my husband hasn't actually gone after, then I'll include those as well. 
then a uh, um, chocolate syrup with Pochi Foot ice cream. So chocolate syrup that you normally would put over your ice cream, I'm adding that for flavor and again that, that color, that brown color in it. At the sesheen down the ingredient here, it is it at Rajo at the Lucia at Tiji that she knocks out of Mahlula. And with difference of the tisla fill bowl, not like a verita. I'm adding a little bit of custard powder because this helps helps bind it at the same time if there's too much liquid. So your bird's eye custard powder, two tablespoons. Oh kim fadal you call paqueta lemon custard. Likul das kam is vilma o sanamel wa dapla das tablespoon minnu. Daya atu fissa siniti yatil it tomata lumi. Okay. Easy, right? Anka al hops ko ling zait al dini richeta kelli isu das two pounds dry bread. Okay, that's zouch libri. So spices I have cinnamon, nutmeg, or ginger. How many pojil cloves fia? Cloves um that shein wahda tatoma awiya. Some people put cloves as well in the in the pudina, but it's a little bit of a strong taste or allspice. Omushkul had to like it, so not everybody likes that that stronger flavor. So I usually don't put it in. Oh, it smells so nice. Really smells nice. I can really smell the spices now. These crumbs are so handy. I, I have them in the freezer all the time. I just fill up a big bag of them because you can use them as topping for your ice cream. Uh, you can use them as a topping when you're making um, squares of some kind. Um, you just grind them a little bit over um, your decorating whipped cream or um, something like that. It just it just makes it a little bit more flavorful, that's all. So I didn't have any anisette, so I'm only adding some um, flavored amaretto. Again, everything is always to your taste. There, there's almost no real measurements in this, in this recipe. Um, you just have to get it to a certain consistency and then you're okay. Okay. It's your preference whether you like it thick or whether you like it thin. thin. I know people who like it both ways, so there we go. Okay, so we'll just do a little bit of decorating uh, on it. Try to estimate how big the pieces are going to be. So you, you can either put the almonds with it They bake, or sesame seeds, or whatever your preference is. Really, it's it's entirely up to you. Uh, so your oven should be preheated for at 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, before you put it in. Uh, maybe 375, but keep an eye on it because you don't want it to dry up quickly. So a, a slow heat might be better for it. Okay. Um, so I've got the oven preheated. I am now going to put this one in and get it started. It'll take probably a good 45 minutes. Um, so you'll know when it's, uh, when it's ready, when the, actually the surface starts to crack. You, you see little cracks going um, all over the surface of, of the pudina. So um, Allora, il pudina che si è tessa, o l'hai tam il metortira, o hanno ricondato che fa, che si dorme in giova, tra i nafti, tra i nek. So, 
give it a row. It's quite moist inside, but it's not crumbly like, like a cake would be. Uh, give it a row. It's, it's solid inside. cake. Okay? So that means it's time for me to have a cup of coffee with a piece, or maybe two even, of pudina. I want to thank you very much for being with us today and returning to the Maltese kitchen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. Grazie.